Okay, so I have a pretty big snow blower and it works amazingly. Uh, but I have a uh, crushed asphalt, uh, used asphalt uh, driveway. And so when you're actually doing it, it ends up, you know, hitting that and spitting it out. And it's kind of a pain in the ass, even with your skids down because they sink in. So I got skids over here, I'll show you. There's my skids. But they always end up getting too far into because you know it's wet out and so it pushes down the uh the the skids all the way down to the ground and then i end up going into the ground and spitting out some used asphalt which hasn't hurt my thing but i don't like it you can jam it and stuff so what i did is i took my wheels off of my lawnmower my back ones my adjustable ones right here and i'll put them back in the summer or you just get you a used lawnmower as you can tell that one's used as hell keeps on working but anyways uh you just uh, take those back locking uh, adjustable wheels off. And mine happened to be lucky enough. I got one on over here and I, I kept the other one off so I can kind of show you what I've done to make it adjustable. So there's the one on. And then, uh, you know, I, I made different spots and I'll show you on the other side. But uh, look at how far that is above the ground now. That's perfect. Because I'm not, when I use this, I don't use it because I have three inches of snow. We got a foot and a half today, so uh, it'll uh, really help with that. But it just moshes this. I even do my backyard. Just gonna show you real quick the snow today. So there we go. We got some snow, and I gotta get this shit out of my driveway or it stays frozen all winter long. And I have to drive back here so to get to my garage all the time, and it's a pain in the ass. So. Here's the other side, and I got lucky. You, if you have one, you may have to uh, start your own first hole. But this was already there, so I just uh, drilled it out a little bit more so that it would fit in. Sorry, this shit's not the easiest with one hand. But here, let me show you from there. Yep, there we go. So that goes in there. And then there's... Uh, so what I did is after I, I put it in there nice and hard, and then I drug it back and forth... So that the spot that actually anchors it so that it makes it like an inch or two inch or three inch or whatever. The, the adjustable part, this little tab, goes in these holes. So I drug it like crazy so that uh, it would make a nice score on there. And then I knew exactly where to drill. And with mine, the weird thing is, is that it was not even at all. So on this side, well you won't be able to see it, but I'll, I'll show you. So on, on the other side, I started my holes all the way out over here. So mine's bent like crazy. On this side, I had to start it all the way back here to make it even with the wheel that is on the other side. But uh, if you do that, I'm thinking it's going to work great. I'll, I'll, I'll post stuff to the post after I get it done and uh, hit, hit the driveway and let you know if it threw stuff around. You know, if it, if it starts throwing stuff around, you just go one more hole, one more hole, one more hole, you know. And then... You should be golden. And this adjusts so far up that if I take it past these holes, it goes back down to the skids. So when I do my spots that do have concrete, I can take it all the way to the concrete. So I can go from concrete now to my either dirt driveway, because some people have dirt driveways and still want to get that goddamn snow out of there. And then uh, mine, like I said, is uh, crushed used asphalt. So... I think this will work really well. Hopefully this will work for you. And, uh, you know, party on.